When curious residents gather each morning to watch the Kelly Miller Circus spring to life in their community, they'll get their first glimpse of Rebecca Ostroff. While an elephant helps raise the big top, it's Becky's task to explain how this mobile city takes shape in cities and towns across a wide swath of America during the 2012 Kelly Miller Tour. Few realize that hours later, they'll be witnessing Becky's transformation into the show's featured aerial performer. For the past 25 years, Ms. Ostroff has been demonstrating her skills, grace, and high energy on the single trapeze. But it's especially her closing stunt, the iron jaw, which keeps spectators on the edge of their seat. In the movie Water for Elephants was filmed, Becky was called on to stage this feat for the cameras. Being a circus performer was not her intended career path. I was a modern dancer. I lived in New York City. I was a postmodern dancer. I was trained in classical modern dance, Graham, studied ballet, danced most of my life. And then one day, a friend says to me, hey, Becky, you want to go dance in a circus in New Hampshire for the weekend? And she said, it's 450 for three days. That was 1986. I said, you know what? I can do anything they want me to do for $450. So I go to New Hampshire, dancing, hard dancing, double amazing arabesque pirouettes and big jetés and intense because we were New York City dancers. And I see these women doing my hobby, which is trapeze. And I said to myself, oh my God, you can do this for money? What I'd love for money? So I got a trapeze, made an act, ran away with a circus. Since 1987, Becky has been a featured aerialist on a number of circuses, including an earlier stay at Kelly Miller. I came here in 1990. We were here for five years. Went to Culpeper and Merriweather Circus for a couple of years. The Clyde Beatty Cole Brothers Circus. Um, Ellie Barnes with the Dave Hoover, Circus Boreal in Alaska. Hendrix Brothers Circus, Lewis and Clark, Walker Brothers Circus. I worked for Tom Liebel a little bit, Circus World Museum in Baraboo, Wisconsin. I've done shrine circuses all over the place, worked in nice nightclubs, ice shows. I might have left something out. Becky and her husband, Kelly Miller musical director, Marshall Eckelman, also became parents during that time. 99, I had a baby and worked on, but got in shape really fast. And I worked in Miami Beach on an ice show in a theater on a real tank doing trapeze. It was great. There was a huge dressing room. My daughter had her own little playpen, six months old. Many youngsters have grown up on shows like Kelly Miller with its nomadic company of performers and workers. We are families. And we're performing for families. So there's such a great familial connection that it is about, it's a family, it's a family affair. You are so connected to the audience. The audience is part of the whole performing experience. When you're in a theater or an arena, you're so far away. Here is a way of life. You have this incredible camaraderie. There's this whole big team thing that we're all traveling together making this thing happen. And we have highs and lows together. I also obviously like working every day because practicing is really not that much fun. And so with this, we perform all the time, we get to really hone our acts. And I love, I personally am happy doing the same thing, the challenge of making it precise and even better than it was yesterday. Because for me, it's my first time, it's my last time, it's my only time, it's my best time. I don't think in my head when I perform, I'm going to slack, tomorrow I can be stronger. I just, it's, this is it. Because who knows what could happen when I come back on the ground. That could have been it. So I want it to be every single time I perform, I know I'm going off on a tangent, is the ultimate time for me. Reporting from Kelly Miller Circus, I'm Lane Talbert. See you at the circus.